Hey everybody, welcome to another Minecraft story mode video. Today we are going to be starting episode 2, part 1. Let's go to episode, so episode 2 and 3 are out, so we'll just go ahead and start with 2. So yeah, I wasn't here for the release of both of them, but oh, I'm on it now, right? Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Old friends come in and move out of life, while new friends show up to fill the spaces left behind. Yes. We might not like it, but eventually everyone learns that nothing can escape change forever. No matter how fraught with danger it may seem, the lure of adventure cannot be denied. Sometimes the danger itself is the pull. Some heroes just want to be the one to discover the next ancient secret, to wield strange new powers. This new threat was more personal than any that had come before, and the fight for their lives shook the foundation of everything they thought possible. But in the end, the town was saved. The heroes had won the day. And everyone could believe, for just one moment, that maybe things really hadn't changed at all. And then, that moment passed. <laughs> yeah, the big dude's still following us around. That kind of feels bad. Greetings, tiny people. I am the admin. Sorry, that was probably really loud to your pathetic, tiny ears. What does that mean? What does it want? Uh, admin? Is it... What is I'm that I'm scared right now. Well, guess Jack's eye wasn't enough for it. I wish to speak with Jesse, the gauntlet bearer. What's going on? Where did it come from? Well, quit wishing, Admin, because I'm right here. I know. That's why I was like, looking right at you. Come, speak with me face to face. Oh, boy. Admin? Have you ever heard of such a thing? Jesse, what's going on here? Gauntlet Bearer? That's all rather suspicious, isn't it? Uh, everyone, everyone, hi. There's nothing to worry about, the... Giant Prismarine Colossus and I are gonna work this out and everything can get back to normal, I swear. Okay, so, an admin, a huge colossus in our door. I'm alright with not freaking out, yet. You're going to fix this, right, Jesse? You won't let it destroy Beacon Town, will you? Oh, I'm sure Jesse must have thought of something. I hope you're right. Don't worry, everyone, I'm gonna try talking to it. Okay. Diplomacy. Nice. That sounds good. <clears throat> I would like to proceed, Gauntlet Bearer. Do not test my patience. Guess you should get up there. Gauntlet Bearer. Clay, come in your way! Thanks, Nell. Perfect. There you are, Jesse. I loved what you did with the Weatherstorm. Awesome stuff. <laughs> this is going to be perfect. You've got the knack. Why, yes, thanks for noticing. Seriously, you're a natural. That's why I left you the gauntlet. You left it? To tempt you down to the Sea Temple. Your true test begins. It is time you no! fight. Me. Fight me, 
champion, unless you'd like to see that happen to your entire town. Who knows what I'll do next? <laughs> Enough talk, let's fight. Uh, uh, hold on. Aha! Fighting in broad daylight is boring. Let's add some drama. Oh, he's powerful. Ah, so much for them. <laughs> Just you and me now, champion. Don't let them down. <laughs> <laughs> not good, Jesse. Really not good. Beacon Town is gonna be like, like, one big smash fest to this guy. We need to help people. He's gonna break everything. Swords? Not gonna cut it. Ugh. What can we do? How about a bunch of obsidian walls? Structure block time. If you can cause a distraction, I can plant some of these guys. They'll help hold the city. One major distraction coming up. Go, Jesse! Hey, Stoneface! Over here! Yeah, that's right! Your college is so much larger than your puny size. Ooh! Let's see how you deal with the enchanted deliciousness of this butter! I could peek my teeth with that blade. <laughs> Take you down one block at a time! <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. You are the best! It's away, Jesse! Thanks! Mean it! Ha! Ah, clever! Using my own structure block against me. Look. Uh, the, the, where's the structure block? Ha uh ha. -huh. Finders keepers. This tiny thing won't save you, Jesse. Not from me. Okay, this is a little intense, but I guess a giant colossus did follow me oh. home. Hide and seek is beneath you, Jesse. The champion should be better than this. If you're going to be a coward, Jesse, just give yourself up. The Sea Temple had the same symbol. Ever. Come on, we gotta hook it. Yes. What is that? 
quick version? The admin. He, like, built the world or something. Uh, Kay. Are you all right? I mean, he really had you up there. <laughs> what took you so long? Hey, riding to the rescue takes time, all right? <laughs> I sure hope you got an idea here. I saw a spot on the back of his head that yes, I'm hoping might be the key to defeating him. You can't out. Sounds like I better keep him distracted then. Thanks, Lucas. Be careful. Come now, Jesse. All this stalling is just making me angrier. Hey, Lockhead! You want Jesse? You need to go through me first. And I don't think you stand a chance. You're protecting Jesse. Oh, please. All these interruptions are becoming annoying. That ends now. Let's see what you got. Yeah. Not in there. Try again. I knew you'd come eventually. You don't know anything about me. <sighs> Where are you? Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. Sure would be a pity if... Oops. No! You're gonna wish you hadn't done that, admin. Oh boy. Do you really think you can defeat me, Jesse? I don't think. I know. <laughs> Confidence. The mark of a true hero. Done that, admin. Oh boy. Do you really Man. think you can defeat me, Jess? I don't think. I know. <laughs> Confidence. was really something. Stay behind me, Stampy! Ah, don't let the googlies touch me! Oh man, these are gonna keep coming in until we get the sun back up. Any idea how to use it?
still works. Man, this thing could be super dangerous. How sure are you that this admin guy is gone? You make a compelling point, Lucas. My hand is still trapped in this freaky gauntlet. <sighs> yeah. Not to be a worrier, but he might not be as dead as we hope. I I'm worried enough for both of us. Someone should keep an eye on this thing. Yeah. I can take first watch. Actually... <clears throat> Actually... I'll volunteer. I want to help. Jesse, I'd say we both do it, but one of us should really get started on the repairs. It's a nice gesture, but maybe you should just let me handle it. L look, I promise. Then the minute I see anything out of the ordinary, I'm coming to get you as fast as my hustle sticks will carry me. My, my uh, my legs. Come on, Jesse, I can do this. Jesse's left me in charge before. This is a whole new level, though. All right, Radar. I officially bequeath on you the title of Clock... Thank you, Jesse. I solemnly promise to uphold the duties of Clockmaster and to only use my powers for good. What? Well, yeah, good. That's good. So what are you going to do now? I figured I'd start with Ruben's memorial. Got pretty trashed. Oh, man. Well, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. That admin just... No respect. It'll be all right. Damage isn't too terrible. That's a really good outlook. And, um... <sighs> When I asked you what you're gonna do, I was actually talking about that glove of yours. Cause I gotta tell you, Jesse, this whole admin thing, it's... Well, it's very you, I guess, is what I'm saying. Well, I know you say you're trying to settle down and run Beacon Town, but... It just seems like you can't quit that life, you know? I mean, you don't exactly see Axel and Olivia getting mixed up in stuff like this. I thought I could run Beacon Town and go off on adventures, but a lot of people almost got hurt because of me. Uh, I mean, don't be too hard on yourself, all right? Everyone's fine, and they clearly love you. I, uh... I didn't say any of that stuff to be mean. We've had a ton of adventures, and I just want you to be happy. I mean, that's what that little pig wanted for all of us. Now go rebuild his monument. I promised Stampy and Stacy I'd help them get their houses fixed up. Sounds good. I'll see you later, Lucas. Okay. Let's see what we can do for you, buddy. Oh, okay. So we gotta build it ourselves, huh? Okay, okay. Um. Alright, let's get rid of all these. I guess the rest of this episode will be building this, and then we'll probably end off the episode. Let's see, what can we build here? What can we build? Okay, I, I guess we'll go for like a heart pig design here. So we'll take this. Oh no, that's the wrong block. Let's do a little something like this. I don't really know how to build a heart in Minecraft, but we could try our best here. I guess one more out and then one more out. And then we'll build like the two like hills. No, can I like? Okay, there we go. There. And now we build. So there's the heart. 
No, I think I think it's good just like that. And then let's build Reuben, I guess, right? I don't really know how to build a pig out of prismarine either, but we could try our best here. Just like that, and then a little head. Let's make these two blasts and make this one like that. Then let's take these two and build it just like that. Okay, so that's a heart and a Reuben. And then I guess we'll build some kind of like pillars. And yeah, then we'll build some pillars here. Yeah. Okay, uh, can't really get to the back. Oh, I can get to the back side. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh, I built them on. Okay, let's remove all of these. Okay, I think we're good, kind of like this. There. Now that is a monument fit for Reuben. I know I never met Robin. Reuben. Oh, right. Righteous. Oh, by the way, Petra was looking for you before. Over that away. Thanks, Nell. Come on, you remember Twisting Death Cavern? You couldn't even look at a bat for months, right? Oh, oh yes. Uh, they all just start to blur together after a while. Hey guys, Petra around? Heard she was looking for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, helping Nurm get some stuff, I think. Uh, she should be back in a second. Oh, uh, amazing work fighting that admin fellow, by the way. <laughs> just stunning. Yeah. I would have thought you'd been doing it your whole life. It was... artful. Oh, I can't take all the credit. You guys totally helped, too. Spare me the pity props, Jesse. Don't need them. Hey, it wasn't pity. I'm, I'm just saying I know I'm still getting used to fighting with only one eye. It's cool. I'm just glad my shop's all right. It's a little sad that the legendary Jack, the, the Iron Sword of Muji Lake, has been reduced to some uh, what, tour guide. Voss. That's why I think this adventure to Twisting Death Cavern is just what you need to be. <laughs> Shut up. What you should continue to keep uh, just uh, talking about for someday uh, far off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> wow, I thought Jack was a bad liar. But you're pretty terrible at it too, Voss. Uh, yes, okay, fine. 
We have a new adventure planned. Hang on, hang on. I missed that last part. If we take that road, it goes through a swamp and a mesa biome? Hmm. Okay, okay, then it's settled. The earlier we leave, the better. Wait, you're leaving with these guys? Uh, yeah. And that's, uh, yeah. That's why we were, um, being weird before and, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, bus possible stuff. We haven't even rebuilt yet, Petra. Well, I didn't think you needed me for that. Jesse, I promise I, I can explain. I just... Whoa, wait, what? It's impossible. This isn't a snow biome. And we're going to stop that episode right there, and we'll see what's going on with that next episode. But guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as a personal channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.